So you, you can explore it, but for now, let's go. And I, I, it's the same. So I, I, I will do it in Power BI. You can also do it in Power BI or, or you can do it on Excel. So if I go and say get data from Excel, okay? And when I open the file and, and you will get similar experience when you go to Excel, exactly the same experience, I, I get this window, which is called navigator window. And the navigator window, what it does, it navigates to what is actually inside your Excel. And, and it can detect different elements in your Excel. So one element that it can actually detect, it is an Excel table like this one. And you see the icon of an Excel table. So it says that I see a, a, an Excel table with the name product sales. It can also detect, of course, an Excel worksheet, an Excel tab. So it detects your Excel tab. And it can also detect a named range area or a named cell. So it, can de it detects everything you have in your Excel. And if you click in any of these, so if you, if you select any, any of these items here, so let's say I, I want to click on the product sales, you will get to see the preview of the data here. And you can select to actually get the data into your Power BI um, tool or your Excel. Now, with, with the latest version, and, and we are using a latest version here for, because that's Power BI, you also get some extra like functionality that do not exist in the, I guess those of you that if you, you will try to do it from Excel, you won't have that. You get suggestions. So the tool is looking into the data and gives you some suggestions of what is potentially what the data source you want to connect to. So far, I really use the suggestions for the web because sometimes the data on a website, it's messy. There are so many data sources, you know, there's tables there, tables there, tables there. So with the suggestions, I might like set up my own table, okay? So where I pick bits and pieces from a website and then create a connection to the website. So imagine that with this tool, you can also connect to the web and get data on a regular basis. So let's select the sales per day, okay? And then we have some options. Don't, don't get into like a excitement to, and click stuff. So we have a load, which Microsoft made sure that they also put the color so that they push us to do it. But as I say, I don't want you to do it. Never click the load, never. Why? The reason is that in most cases, you want to do some kind of transformation to your data. Your data is not ready for reporting. It's not ready for analysis. So always when you load, you make the first connection to your data, okay? I advise you from my experience to actually go and select the transform data. Let's go and do that now. Let's click the transform. And what's going to happen now, guys, this is impressive because the same thing happens in your Excel. As I said, what's going to happen, the, the tool is going to open a second application, which is a, a, like a full application. It's not like a light stuff here. It's, 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 for me, it's the most exciting, the most powerful thing that has happened in Excel, in people that they're using Excel or they're doing data analytics for the last 10 years. Maybe even more than that. Maybe for the last, I don't know, more than 20 years.